we are doing a series of two videos on how we installed this wood stove in our single wide mobile home. The first video is gonna be how I made this hearth. Is it a hearth or a hearth? I don't know. <laughs> how I made this pad that the wood stove sits on. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how much this cost to make. The second video of this series is gonna be how we actually installed this wood stove. Everything from cutting the hole in the ceiling to putting the chimney on top of this mobile home. So let's see how I made it. Before we get started, I do wanna say that each hearth is a little different. It's gonna be different sizes. It just depends on the size of your wood stove. I'm just reading the directions that the wood stove came with. I'll put a link down below of the stove and you can check it out. And I'm no expert at installing wood stoves. I'm just showing you how I installed our wood stove in our single wide mobile home. The first material I'm using is a hardy backer board, which is a fiber cement board, and it's a half inch thick. To cut it, I'm scarring it with a blade and just breaking off the piece I don't need. And I'm cutting it the exact length and width that I need for the wood stove to sit on. The other material is a three quarter inch plywood that I'm cutting at the same length and width as the hardy board. After putting it in place where I want it in the house, I'm screwing all the corners down and make sure it's really secure to the floor. I'm using two inch screws for this. For the hardy board, I'm using a screw that's a multi-purpose screw. It can go through cement and wood. And I'm just screwing everything down, make sure everything's super secure and then straight. For the very top of the surface, I'm using 12 by 12 cement pavers and I'm gluing them down with a construction adhesive that glues cement together. After the pavers are in, they're glued down. I'm making sure everything's straight, everything's level. Uh, all the pavers are tight really together and there's no gaps in between them. Now to finish off the border all around this, I'm using a one by material. And this is just pine wood. Um, you, you could use a harder wood, maybe like an oak, but just to kind of keep the cost down, I'm just using regular pine, untreated. The whole pad ends up being about three inches tall. I'm also using the same construction adhesive to glue down the borders, because when you drill it in, you're really drilling in the bottom. You're not, you can't nail into the cement. The glue is holding that upper part to the cement and then the nails are going into the plywood. Now the border is gonna be all mitered at the corners to I think make it makes it a little bit more cleaner. 
Now, because of the back piece, I couldn't get in there with a nail gun, so I had to shove a couple wedges in there and hold it in place while the glue dries. Just a quick sand around the edges, make sure knock off a little pieces here and there and give it a little bit more smooth look. This is one of the easiest parts of installing this entire wood stove project. I really like the minimal look of it. And now I'm ready to install the wood stove. Now this hearth that I made, according to the directions of the wood stove, it needed to be a point, at least a 0.5 R value rating. It's actually just above a one R value. So plenty of material for this type of wood stove. And now we've had this on for a while and there's no heat on this at all. It's not, it's not even warm. I recommend uh, you do your own research. Uh, look at the directions of your wood stove if you're looking to do something like this. Ask your friends. Maybe someone had done this and that's that's what we did. Um, we had just asked around, asked friends, asked neighbors. Hey, have you made one of these before? Even your local wood stove dealer or store. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> this hearth cost me $95 in total materials. I'm talking about the adhesive, uh, the screws, pavers, everything cost me about $95. Very simple, very easy. It's nothing fancy, but I like the minimal look that it has. I will leave links to all the materials that I used here down in the show notes. The next video on this series is gonna be the full install of this wood stove, but I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Sow the Land, and we'll see you guys next time.